We got more boost auto parts. We got the steps that go around. So they're the boost auto Luma step in one with the light function in them. And I also got this fancy foam padding out of the blue with the triangle design in it. And they are switched back. They are amber, they match these mirrors. Here, I'll turn the hazards on to show you. They match the mirrors and the turn signal. And they run down the bar or the nerf or the uh, the running board. Just like the mirror does, it starts in the front and goes back. And then I'll switch back to white when the running lights are on. These things are pretty bright at night. Uh, they're very neat though. They're I like them. They're pretty cool. Uh, the install was real simple. So I'll pop the hood here. For whenever I show you the wiring but we got three mounts on each side and they just pull up to the inner and the bottom of the rocker panel the inner rocker and then the bottom of the, the rocker here so they're just two bolts on each mount like I said there's three on each side and then you got your there's a module right here this plate here means it's the front and the modules behind it and then the wiring I ran along the bar here, I ran it up this first mount, and then ran it to the front of the truck on both sides. So I'll pop this. So as you can see, there's some of that fancy white plug there. That's the passenger side tying in with the driver's side. And then it's ran up over here, and it's all tapped in to the headlights with the fuse taps and that fancy plug there on both sides and then this is just my extra wiring I need to clean my battery up so don't hit me there i also need some coolant <laughs> but yeah it also has a fuse block there in case you know anything happens you blow a fuse first so yeah the passenger side it's ran up plugs into the driver's side they're ran to both headlights here so i got mine coming in with my rock light wheel light wire so it's coming in around the body mount and drops down to the mount and then i ran it along here and plugged it in i didn't want my wire showing about right here so yeah that's how we did it so these are the mounts uh these are just plastic covers to cover the the metal mount here like i said three of them and you can see how they mount uh there's mount up top on the inner and then they mount on the bottom of the rocker all three of them are that way uh, really simple for the most part uh, the front one here it does have a little different mount that they send it's a two-piece because some trucks have a threaded hole mine didn't so i just put the two pieces together and mounted it up just like i did these others so it's pretty simple and like i said i got my wiring all hid there and ran up and everything does come in a nice wire loom that's real nice and how you mount the brackets is real simple so you have these clip nuts you'll just put in the two holes where you need them and then you'll align it make sure it's straight and you'll go ahead and tighten them up so like i said just just make sure they're all straight before you really tighten them all down this right here is that one mount that i was telling you about that is different but it's pretty simple to put on so you just go ahead and you put the top piece on first which is a small piece and then you go ahead and bolt the bottom up to it and then the kit comes with these t-bolts here so you'll put three down each row you know three mounts so you'll have six bolts total and then you'll go ahead and you'll throw the board on there and you'll align them where you want them and then just tighten those puppies down this is the startup sequence it matches the mirrors it's amber first and then it switches to the light there so it's really neat these things are fat boy approved by the way i can stand on this one it barely moves any they're flush with the frame, so they don't hang down any lower than the frame, which I like. I just think it just flows. Uh, the blue, it's not the same blue as my suspension, but it ain't too bad. And there's the module right there with the plugs. Hard to see, sorry. Um, there's three plugs on that. One is already plugged in from Boost Auto. It's ran from the light in there to the module that's uh, bolted to the bottom. And then two of them is your harness that runs up to the truck. So 
you got your power turn signal all that good stuff these are aluminum boards and you don't have to get this foam padding but i wanted it uh, you can definitely tell it's there it's really soft uh, really good padding but it, they're just uh, black and aluminum underneath of that so they would still look good and you can also get red and gray as an option so they have blue red and gray uh, for you to choose from and they also have different designs like i said i got the triangles but they have a hex and then the triangle and something else uh, plain i think i don't know but they're really neat uh, I'll have the link down below where you can go check them out and maybe get some for your ride. Uh, it's their new product, so they're starting to make them for a lot more trucks. So I'll put some videos of them at nighttime at the end of this video. That way you can see them. They light up the whole road. I mean, the whole side of the truck's orange or white. Uh, it looks really good when the running lights or the rock lights are on as well. And speaking of that, they have a fancy harness that I do have that you can run under the hood to connect to those. And then it has a toggle switch that runs to the inside of the truck. So it's a rock light function is what it is. So when these are on, you can flip that switch and this white light will come on and it'll stay on. It'll, uh, it'll cancel out the turn signal or anything. So it just overrides everything. If you leave it on going down the road, the switch, your turn signal will not work. But it's really neat. It gives you the option to leave it on if you're parked somewhere. So I don't recommend tying into your rock lights because if you're going down the road with your rock lights on, you obviously want those flashing for your turn signal. So I just run them to a different switch, which they provide if you pick that option.